Yo, it's your man DJ Pat, Mr. Exclusive, only for your intros, and today I'm going to show you my how-to video of how to set up your DJ equipment, get it started, get it queued up. So, first thing we're going to do is let you look at what we got going on. So, we got the turntables, old school turntables. I usually DJ off another MIDI interface, but right now we're going to get into the basics of DJing. You got your two turntables, you got your mixer, don't worry about this here, but this is your laptop stand. Right here is my amp. And from the mixer to the amp, we're going to hook it up to the speakers, and then the speakers are right here. So, the first thing you want to do before I get into it, I want to, the turntables come with it. RCA is attached to it. It comes with a plug to plug it to the wall, and then it comes with ground wires. I got one of my ground wires already hooked in. Now, I'm going to get another ground wire from my other side. We're going to put it in right here like so. So the first ground wire for this one is going to be on this right track. I'm going to put the other one, which is track three. I'm going to put the other one on wire on track two. Like so. Like so. Shout out to my video man, Bo Molly. Yes. Hit him on Twitter. I am Bo Molly. <laughs> Y'all for being patient too. Anyway, you put it in like so. Now you take this box right here. Boom! Take this box right here. And this what is the SL1? Mm -hmm. And what does it do? A rain, Serato, scratch uh, SL1 scratch live. Uh -huh. So the program that I use is called Scratch Live Serato on my laptop. Where you got all your MP3s, all your songs, all your music on your computer, but it transfers from your computer to this box, to this box, to your computer, to the mixer, All right. via also your turntable. So, it says to say right deck, put through and line. So I'm gonna take a line for the right deck. And my right deck over here, once again, is track three for this turntable. So I'm gonna put it in with a line in the back. And then for through, I'm put it in on phone up. Okay, and now it's for track three, which is the right side for DJ. And please, the most important thing is, is this part right here, I would say. Not getting your, your chords confused and when you put it in so you can have great sound. And also making sure that you got good groundage. And you got your turntable hooked up to this mixer. So you won't have no sound problems later. Okay. Got it hooked up like boom. So I'm going to take RCA's from this turntable and put it in on right deck. But it's say input on right deck. And for the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it on left deck. That's what that is. The left side turntable. Okay, we got that hooked up. Go to the department. Got my laptop right here. What else I need hooked up? Okay, you also need to make sure that you got your app hooked up. We got a plug in, I got a plug in. This is uh, my speaker on, which is already hooked up, connected to my speaker already. Now this right here is channel B, which is the right side. This is a thousand watt amp. So each side I got 500 watt. Um, that's 300 watt speaker, so you know, everything's compatible. I'm gonna bring it up over here, connect it. Connect my amp to the master and just put it on only on one side as a master or your mixer. I got my mixer plugged in, so I turned that on. I got my turntables on. I'm going to turn these on right now. Okay, another thing. Where's the USB? Okay, USB. So once again, I said earlier, you want to take your music off your computer via USB through here. Turn everything on, get your computer set up. Go into this program called Serato. Slash Live. Shout out to 
SKRadio.com coming soon. Okay, got it hooked up. Now, might as well put the vinyl. Got the vinyl. These are called time codes. So, time codes is vinyl. And they also got them in CDs as well, CD time code. And you put a, it's basically the vinyl that you use, but it's also like an automatic simulated vinyl that's connected to this, to the program, so all your music is getting played, it's gonna come straight out. But you simulate your scratching and your mixing and everything through these time codes. Make sure everything is clean. Make sure you got your needles and everything. Got the vinyl on, got your stuff set up. I'm gonna turn the amp on. Just so y'all can know. Make sure you got everything closed up, y'all. Um, this is my career, this is my practice area. One more thing, the last thing I'm gonna show you is called Dicer. So this is what new technology is about now is being a DJ and showing you how to how the old school is mixed with the new school. So you got the turntables, you got everything hooked up. Now these are called dicers, novation dicers, and these are new. <clears throat> Hold on, what's called them? Novation dicers. Where they at? Okay, you can check these out at Guitar Center. No, I'm saying, like, I was just saying, show me what it was. Oh, that right here. Okay, yeah, yeah. So novation dicers right here. Yeah. And it's basically like a cue point, a shortcut cue point. I'm trying to load up something real quick. Oh, we're back. Uh, it took me a couple seconds, I had to get my computer loaded up and everything. But what I was saying, I was trying to explain before we got cut, was about Novation Dicers. So, this right here, these are Novation Dicers, that's uh, a new thing that's added to to help you DJ with turntables. So basically, once you get everything set up, you get out, you get out your USB hooked in, so I got the USB straight to my SLR to hook up, you know, everything, time codes and vinyl. And now I also got another USB that connects to the Dicer. So the Dicer connects the USB to the computer, and then it goes from the Dicer to the other Dicer. So it's two Dicers. You can get these at Guitar Center. They're 100 bucks right now. A great uh, invention to use right now. So um, once you get your music up, make sure your app is on. Make sure you got a... Your levels checked on your mixer, make sure you got everything going. And I'm gonna show you something about the dicer. I got it queued up, so a dicer should help you when you're queuing up tracks. And it'll just start where you it'll just start wherever you queue it at. So one last thing about DJing and how to DJ, it's always, it's always different techniques about scratching and all that, but mainly in a party, it's mainly about playing that good song and blending that song to make sure that next song comes in good at the right time, so like the crowd's not losing tempo or not stopping, just want to keep them moving. I'm still getting better at it as a DJ, but we're going to see what's coming right now.